it wasn't going to work out. And, um, you know, I was fortunate enough that uh, Mr. Lemerell was uh, kind enough to, um, you know, uh, get something done for me. Was it strictly a financial thing you think you reasonably wasn't going to get done for New Jersey? or? Uh, honestly, I don't know. I, I mean, um, you know, I know there's mumblings, I know there's rumors, but uh, at the same token, um, you know, I was just there to play, and that's what I was focused on. So what's your mindset coming here to play on the Toronto Maple Leafs? Uh, very excited. Um, I think this is the first time this many cameras have been around for a practice before, so uh, no, it's going to be great. There's a rich tradition and history here, and uh, I'm looking to be a part of it. Where did the ability to win draws begin for you? Um, probably when I... <laughs> It's funny, actually, with uh, Crow at Team USA, um, I had a coach, Bob Mantini, there. He kind of uh, read me out one practice, and uh, he said, you know, if you want to be a, be an asset as a third-line center or fourth-line center, you got to do something else, and uh, winning draws was that. How long were you waiting for that trade? How long? Yeah. Um, like you training camp, did you have a discussion? Uh, no, it was just uh, briefly here the last couple days, so not very long. How um, you Right now, I fit in as a practice player out there. Um, no, I don't know where. Um, you know what? It's a it's a tryout for me, just as much as you know, saying I'm here as part of this organization. So I'm gonna go out there, uh, whether it's practice, whether it's a game, and um, you know, that's why that's why you have coaches and management. And they tell you where to go, and they have the good fit for you. Have you been told if you're playing in first year? Uh, yes, I will be playing. How's it going on your way? Yeah, a little, uh, I was a little surprised at first. Um, didn't think I was that old at 29, but uh, no, it, it, it's great because, um, you know, I was a part a little bit when uh, we were young in Washington, and um, now tides are a little turned. I wouldn't call me old, but it, yes, on this team. Uh, it's good to bring some experience and uh, maybe some leadership here. And coming from Washington and then New Jersey. Washington arguably has the most talent in the league. New Jersey, very structured team. Toronto, they missed the playoffs for six straight years. How, how would you compare the talent in that room to other teams that you've played on in the last couple of years? Oh, I think it varies. Every team has their own talent. Uh, it's no different on this team with our uh, top two lines. I mean, your top six forwards anywhere around the league are going to be talented. It's, uh, it's how hard they want to work and how hard the rest of the team works and gels. And, um, you know, just being a part in the room, I don't think there's one guy that didn't come up, introduce himself, say hi. So uh, it's a pretty good start. Um, young, ambitious, you know, ready to play. I think it's going to be a, a good year. How difficult is it to come in a day before the season starts? Um, pretty difficult. Uh, I'd like, you know, I'd like to say that I'm a coachable player and uh, the game, you know, relatively comes easy. So as far as, you know, systems, I'm not really worried about that. It's more of going out, playing hard, and trying to get to know my line mates. You were long in the stats about your play, about your face off, uh, prowess off, did you uh, um, notice it day to day when you were ahead? No, I'm not, I'm not like that, but, uh, you know, if I wasn't winning face offs, I knew it from various people. So I know when I'm winning and when I'm not.